Well, that's an easy pick, Woo! isn't it? All right, so welcome to another um, iconic Masters draft. If you're following, if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to smash those like and subscribe buttons. You can wait till the end to hit the like button. I don't want you to preemptively like anything, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're going with Cryptic Command here. So that seems like a pretty easy pick. It's so real good. Doom Blade's great, obviously. Draconic Roar is good, but I also like that this is like one of the only good blue cards in the pack. So yeah, it's a Cryptic Command. That's all you need to say, really. As far as the printing of um, enemy fetches in Dominaria, I also don't think they like having fetches in Standard when they can avoid it. Hmm. Skywise Teachings is a thing. For six mana, we get a 2-2. Two -two. I mean, if you look at it that way. Ah. Uh <laughs> I would preemptively like Cryptic Command. It's a 2-2 with flying. Same. Right, yeah. Well, so everybody that. knows that. I also like Blinding Mage. I would take Blinding Mage or Thief. I like Thief a lot. I think Thief might be good enough just to stay on color. That seems fine. I also like teachings could also just be very good. Creature Mister, yeah, tweet me info if you have it. I would appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna take Skywise Teachings. I think it's just better than the other one. Plus, if you get like Thought Scours, like it's three mana, draw a card, make a two-two. Yeah. I think we amassed the components here. Four drops the deck. <laughs> I didn't actually realize this was four mana. That's interesting. We, can, I guess we could take Mindstone, but I think a mass is just so much better. Yeah. Garfank, you are correct. You are correct. Uh, yeah, there's fetchable duels in standard, which makes printing um, fetch lands a little bit of a risky proposition. A thought scour. That is a thought scour. Probably blinding mage then. I think blinding mage is better. I I want another amass, but I don't think I want to take another four drop like this early. I'm gonna take blinding mage. Could take hero's bane too, but I think it's blinding yeah. mage. I think blue white's way better than blue green. I do like blue white. Oh my god, why did you get this song stuck in my head, dude? It's funny because you sung three different songs. They all got stuck in my head until the next one you sung, right. and then that was the last one I sung. That's amazing. I mean, I can sing another one. No, you just stop. <laughs> you sure? Yes. You can make a request. What was the meatloaf one? I would do anything for love. That's yeah. what it was. Oh, wow. Spirit Monger is in this set? That's a good dude. But Another Blinding Mage? I'll just take Blinding Mage, number two. That ain't got nothing. Spirit Monger ain't got nothing on Blinding Mage. I'm not so sure if I agree with that, but you just I don't tap really want to go into two other colors. You can tap him down forever. What's he going to do? Nothing? Oh, song request. I don't have song requests because I put these on YouTube. And then YouTube doesn't like that. You can make the music yourself and still flag it. Yeah, right. Actually, I, I was using the um, the public domain music, like the one that, that, that's free that's in the public domain, and it would still flag it. And I was like, yeah, it doesn't work the way you think it works. Ooh, another a mass or a mannequin? I think it's always mass. Uh, I guess. Mike, how much longer are you going to let me stream with you? Uh, You know, I mean, as long as you want, really. Oh, Garfank was just looking for you to sing it. You gotta sing Baby Baby Out Back now. Wait, is that a request? Yeah, right here. Song request, Baby Got Back. That's a rap song, though. Is it? Yeah. I like a dissolve. It's better than Overcharged Child's Breath. It is. It is. Bondkin would have been okay. Bondkin? Yeah. The name is Bond. Enoch Bond. 
Caden. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you got it. You know how it goes. Wow, Patrick Sullivan tweeted artists over grifters. That's fantastic. That's a great tweet. Oh man. Oh look at this. Hunt the week and a search. This is a this is a good green pack right here. I guess you just take this doorkeeper. Keeping the doors. I don't hate it, but or I don't love it, but Um Merge Unscathed is a great with Skywise teachings. Keeping the doors, he says. Yeah, this does all really ruined our even converted mana cost theme. We had uh, the old the old quad fours, double twos. Quad four, double two was the name of my my ska band back in high school. Hmm. I know. I'm a fascinating guy. Oh, another dissolve? Yes, please. This draft is looking good. Oh, Heroes Bane came back? Hey, new dog. <laughs> that was a good movie. I'm going to take Diminish. It could just be removal. And we're not playing the color that the other card is, so. Wow. Eh, that's not terrible. If we're f actually guard duty, make a 2-2 two -two that flies right over the guy you put the guard duty on, that's pretty good. In the Skywise Teachings deck. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's worth anything, though. It's probably not, right? I doubt it. Man, Foil Flusterstorm. If this was IRL and we got Cryptic Command Foil Flusterstorm. Eh, 215. Two tickets. Foil is worth... Hey, there's the Red Dragon. Two. That is the red dragon. Swords of plowshares too. Oh boy. We'll probably take swords. Is flusterstorm that much in real life? Someone give me a price check on an on an IRL flusterstorm foil. It's gonna be about ten bones. Uh, we were actually joking around about doing a sensual ASMR. <laughs> Can't even do it without laughing. Oh, oh man. You tried. Oh, yeah, I think it's definitely swords here. Plus, swords goes well with you. You Wow, Thoughtseize? Man, this, would be, this draft would be gas if it was real life. Thoughtseize is four tickets. I'm just taking the four tickets. None of these other cards are that much better than four tickets, so. Path of Bravery is interesting. I think we just want a second Teachings. I think we're just playing the Teachings deck. Yeah. Abzan Valconer is good. And a third Blinding Mage? No, a third Blinding Mage. We need actual threats. Are we going to have any creatures that have counters on them? Probably not. 65 bonus foil. Wow, this would have been an amazing draft. We have Thoughtseize, Cryptic Command, and Foil Flusterstorm. Cryptic Commands in real life are like, what, 40 bucks? Cryptic Commands are still pretty high, yeah. I have no idea what the pick is here. I don't know what I would take. You think it's Valkyner? Yeah. I just don't want a third blinding mage. Why? They're so good. They're all right. You said all right, or they're all right? I said they're all right. I'll take Valkyrie here, just because I don't think we'll see another one. Chase is Phantasm. I feel like White's getting cut. Yeah, but that's fine, because we can just get it on the next pack. I might just like Benevolent Ancestor here. <laughs> Being able to prevent damage is actually pretty good. I may just drop Cryptic down to about 20, which is still fine. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't complain about that. Mana Leak, probably better than Repeal, I think. Jeez. And the third dissolve, you say. I think oh, I'd rather wait. just have yeah, a seeker. Servant, yeah. servant? Servant, seeker, whatever. Servant of the way? Is that what you think his name is? Yeah. Maybe. Remember. 
let's look at all of our it's i like the idea of playing skywise teaching and triggering skywise teaching always triggered <laughs> yes this is a lot of actually this is a lot of spells that would trigger it we only have five creatures thankfully we're playing uh double skywise teachings so that's good Yeah, also Cryptic Command is just a card that's never, like, uh, never going to not have value. Um, I don't really want to get into the MTGHQ stuff on on stream. Um, just because it's kind of, it's just some, it's just a bunch of negativity that I'd rather not deal with right now. But, um... I don't You'll know. Find plenty of that online. So, so I serve. Uh... Mana drain's been climbing. Woo. I mean, if you if you buy a box of uh, well, maybe not even that because you don't have. It's angel. Angel's fine. Boxes are like two hundred. I was like, if you buy a box for like a hundred bucks and then you crack a mana drain, you're in real good shape. But then I'm like, oh, they're not a hundred. They're not a hundred dollar boxes. They're like. What, 100, 240, 200? Whatever, the, like the, the the master's prices for like 24 packs instead of 36, I think. I still wouldn't be surprised if you make it out ahead on a box. You think so? In real life? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, maybe the, yeah, maybe the, the real life EB might be higher than the online EB, so. It's way higher. It's way higher. Can you take me higher? No. Well, I guess we're taking an infantry veteran. I'll take the foil one because fancy. Hundred and sixty for IMA boxes? Is that what you guys are saying right now? Oh, Pentark Ward is actually that lets you draw a card. Wow, 160 for a box seems pretty good. Oh, uh, this is not Phantom. I, li I don't like doing Phantom drafts. I don't know why. I'm just a stickler for real drafts, so that's what we're doing. I, I think I would I would trust him by via Facebook. Game Krang with the six month sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. I'm grateful for your man. If you're red, for your you have two dragons. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this anyway, though. <sighs> I don't really want to. Uh, it doesn't matter. I guess we're not. It's still hard to get over the fact that you're not in a pod and you're not going to be playing the people that are you're passing yeah, take to. A bonkin. Is it bon? Yeah. Okay, I think that's fine. Wow, the foil. Wow, the uh, the f the foil infantry veteran is worth less than the regular infantry veteran. That is sad. I think I like Elusive Belfast over Bonkin almost. Really? Yeah, we're heavy on spells. I don't want to be able to. I don't want to be paying two each turn to play this because we have so much, so many things to use our mana on. Like, when are we gonna be? Able to, like, we have four counter spells. I mean, he's just a solid two drop. So is this? I guess. How is this not better? That's a two one. It dies to one ones. This blocks every two one in the in the. Oh, is this good? It sure is expensive. Hmm. It might be good, though. I'm real tempted to just play it. There's also Guardian Idol and a Seeker of the Way. I mean, if you make two or three dragons, it's probably really good, right? Right, that's what I mean. Like, if I'm exchanging my Benevolent Ancestors and my Blinding Mages for 5-5 five, five dragons... Let's try it out. Sounds fun. I'm going to take this, and we're going to have a good time with it. Malik repeal. I think I want to repeal here. We don't have any. Other, we don't have. We have cryptic command, which is kind of like a Malik and a repeal. So it does all the things. Hmm. You don't have a repeal yet. Correct. What do you think? So I would take it. All right. I think I'm fine with that. Well, oh, snap, it's a danger noodle. <laughs> I don't think that guy's worth anything, but... No. 36 Centorinos. 
God, it's, it's not third dissolve, right? We don't want to be those guys. Maybe we do. I don't hate guard duty. Like, I feel like we just lock down the game with a bunch of cheap spells like this. Make a bunch of 2-2s two and then turn them all into 5-5s five at the Day of the Dragon. Does teachings trigger for everything that's not creatures or any non creature spell? Yeah, I definitely take guard duty then. Yeah, I think it's just good for our plan. Wow, Genesis Hydra? Man, our green deck would be sick. Our green red deck would be sick, dude. Lotus Cobra, Genesis Hydra, that really late uh that really late other Hydra. I don't know what he's called. Honored Hydra. No, it's not Honored Hydra. I'm gonna take the uh, survival cache could be good though. You could survival cash me outside. <laughs> survival cash me outside. How about that? What's the Genesis Hydra is bugged, huh? What is he? What's the bug? It's either idle or cash. Oh, idle. I think idle's better. Really? Maybe not with the cash teachings. triggers twice. Yeah. Like that's the thing. I'm gonna take cash. I think it's real good. I like having an, an, Iona's, an Iona's judgment. Yeah. Oh, Topan Freeblade is insanely good. I'm surprised it's still here. Let's just take other aerialists. Sure. Another dissolve? Okay, sure. You pulled my leg. Yep. You should have forged under. That would have been sick sideboard. That's actually not bad. Yeah. You're... But, I mean, Dissolve's pretty good, too, right? I'll Genesis just counter. Bug that you don't get to cast the additional card. Wow, that's that's real bad. That's pretty terrible. We only have nine creatures, but we do have Skywise Teachings times two. And we do have to make a bunch of cuts here, so. I'm not a huge Angel of Mercy fan. don't really want to cut creatures though well these are also going to be creatures don't forget is assault formation uncommon in this format it's super weird oh pentarch ward's a pretty easy cut Alright, one more cut. Probably aerialists. I think they're just too expensive. Sure. I think this is actually just fine. Like we have a ton of removal. Our basically our basically the entire deck is removal, right? Like All of this is ways to deal with things. And then our blinding mages and our our two two drakes turn into uh, five five dragons, ideally. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't think emerge is oh that's that's awkward. Uh, <laughs> sort by cost. I don't think emerge is great, but I I do think it's uh, a rebound spell that costs one mana and we have double skywise teachings, which is important. So, keep that in mind. Plus, like, being able to save a Blinding Mage is pretty good. I don't like the Angel either. Um, I'm not sure we have anything better. I mean, I can see putting in one Ancestor just because it blocks a ton of things. And being able to prevent the damage is really good. Hmm... I kind of like it as is. I just don't like five mana cards. Like I don't, I don't want to. I'd rather be playing a three drop and making a two two, than playing Angel of Mercy. With what? Any three mana spell. <laughs> yeah, that's a creature. So. What's your? What do you mean? Yeah, I know. But if I draw a three drop instead, I'd rather do that on turn five. Yeah, I like this better. Plus, it's a lower curve, so. Um, I don't think main deck, I don't think main, main deck disenchant is crazy. Um, 
I'm not sure there's enough to actually kill though. Like most of the time, you're going to be killing like a Thran Dynamo or like one of the two mana ramp artifacts, which just isn't that impressive. There's not a tremendous amount of game winning um, enchantments and artifacts in this format, as, as far as I, I've seen. Uh, thoughts on Battlefront 2? Uh, it looks cool, but I will probably not play it because of the whole EA fiasco. EA done messed up EA Ron. Like, it's just, it, it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth and, like, you just don't want to support them. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because the game is probably pretty cool, but... And forgot to hit play again, as usual. All right. I'm real good at this, guys. Real good. Wasting time. Time to be wasting. T -t Too much time on my hands. All right. Oh, yeah, this hand is... This hand is gas. Look how big this is. Why are you so big? There you go. Keep it. Topon free blade. Hope they don't have a two drop. He'll never have it. What'd you say to me? You say nothing. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Good lord. Sorry, that was real aggressive. It was pretty <laughs> aggressive. God. Woo. EA has been pro revoking net neutrality. Oh, jeez. Good lord. Man. This is a good conversation that going on, that's going on. Robert said, "What about my hair?" Selena Gomez Prime, mm -hmm. and Selena Gomez Prime said, "Objectively good, but when compared to the Greek statue that is Mike, meh." Oh, wow. And then Robert said, "What would his mythical statue be called?" And then Garrett always said, "The Tater. No other name will do." Sounds about right. That's amazing. Ooh, Topan Freeblade gets a counter, so we can give it float. Oh, that's actually a pretty serious clock. That's a that's a good combo. Don't play guy, don't play guy, don't play guy, don't play guy, don't play guy. They didn't play a dude. Feels good. They can't pillar this. They can ulcerate it. No, they didn't. I'm liking. I'm liking my odds. Uh, the ability on free blade is a renown. So when it attacks, for, it, when it deals damage to the, for the first time, it gets a counter. It is now renowned. And now it has float, like an angel. Send me an angel. Oh. Hey, Mike. Can you give us a little taste of the sound that Abs and Falconer uses to call his bird gang? Um, I don't, I, you know, I don't really know what that is. I think you do. He knows. Nantuko Shaman. Into the, into the exile zone. Um, Slingamus Prime says, I haven't supported EA since they decided not to respond to my letters to remove John Madden and make Frank, Mike, and Rob as DLC announcer pack. <laughs> wow. Okay. How can you, how have you not made the the free the falconer sound yet? Oh, it sounds like this. I'm sorry. What? Why does it sound like that? That's good. That's a good noise. It's not. It's not a good noise. I just, yeah, it's great. No, it's terrible. Terribly great. Oh, I'm sad. You think so? It sounds like someone needs to send you an angel. Right now. Was that a call, or did you just taste Kool-Aid milk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Kool-Aid milk and delicious oh. cheese ramen. <laughs> just a few of the features that we have on this on this channel. Oh, 
Oh, Outlast just gives it a counter. Like, it's literally like it gives another... It puts a counter on the dude. Oh, he didn't come at me. Hmm. I mean, that 13 attacking seems pretty loose. Like a, loose like a goose. Yeah, loose like a goose. Yeah, old Lucy Goosey. You know Lucy Goosey? No. Everybody knows Lucy Goosey. Are you going to send me that angel? When? Right now. No. All right. I could really I could really use another another white source here. Oh, what are you going to do here? Are you going to kill my Valkyner? That ain't cool, man. I'll name Red. Your spell fizzles. Man, they tried to kill my Valkyner and block my free blade. That was rude. They certainly tried to. I saw it coming. Why not name blue there? Fair, a fair question. I can see why you'd ask that. What's happening here? There's a lot of things they're doing. I don't even care about that, surprisingly. What up, big worm? What up, big perm? I mean, big worm? That's from Friday. After next? Green. <sighs> Another island, you say? It's a lot of damage. We're getting in there. They're basically dead. That's good. That'll be good next turn. Is there any card in the set for MTGO that makes non-phantom drafts not the equivalent of setting tickets on fire? Um. No. Horizon Canopy? About it, right? Yeah, right. Like there's like four cards that are worth five tickets or about that. So it's real sad. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's not. It's not a value pack set. I feel like it was way better than the last set, right? The last time they had a master set. Masters. The last master set we did like a million drafts of. Remember that? Yeah. Like we were just queuing them back to back to back. That was great. Those were good times. Hey, I remember that guy. But does he remember you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the length of a dragon memory. So can I just tap this guy, attack the for the game. win, and then counter whatever you do? Let's find out. Go to the videotape. Okay, I think you're dead. Exaxes. Wonderful. Is this good? We just saw the Colagons monument. Yeah, that was it. Phantom drafts mean you don't get to keep the cards, so you're basically just drafting the packs. It's significantly less money. It's like 10 tickets instead of 25. You just have to give all the cards back, basically. Don't tell me what I have to do. You're not my dad. What if I was? Dad? <laughs> I'm going to get cigarettes. I'll be back. Oh, you'll never be back. <laughs> and he never came back. And that was the story of... And that was the story about the lady. What? <laughs> you don't know about that? No, I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, let me, be, let me be honest with you, man. Sometimes being your friend... Oh, God. It's painful. Were you fixing that? No. Or were you just... I was just stretching. Okay. Yeah. 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 How do you feel about this hand? 
like the same hand we just had. I think this, I mean, we got a cryptic command and a survival cache, which is pretty good, right? Oh, my friend has an angelic singing voice, huh? Eh? You angel, you. Can you, um... Can you wow us with your angelic singing voice a little bit? I feel like I've done that a lot today. Can you do it more? Maybe. It's never enough. Did you know that? It's never enough. It's real greedy. What's real greedy? Mom. Wow, that is messed up, dude. I like a 1-3. See, look, if we had the Anok Bondkin, we just trade. Now I get to block forever. He's not going to attack, though, so really you're not going to get to block. Yeah, so it seems good, right? It's all right. Okay. But now we get to survival cash and draw a card. It's all right. And then next time we get to play Cryptic Command, Crippy Command, if you will. Well, assuming he has something that we want to Cryptic Command. They always have something you want to Cryptic Command. Oh, wow. I don't think they can win with this hand, I'll be honest with you. And we get another, uh, another, another card. We get to draw another card off Survival Cash. So when Robert was here yesterday, when he first got here, he's like, "We should cut a hole in the, in the green screen, and I can just put my head through it." And I was like, "Yeah, that's pretty good. We should do that." I think that would have been worth. I agree. Oh, look at that! Look at that beautiful baby. I can swords this guy and then still dissolve whatever you play. My God! What a time to be alive. You're, you're GD right. If you're another white, we could easily play like Valkyrie and keep up swords, but... Or Blinding Mage, keep up Dissolve. Yeah, the new Cryptic Command art is actually fantastic. It's probably one of my favorite arts. Let's get this dude right out of town. Gain your three life. I don't even care. Job and that meat. <laughs> he's hacking. He's hacking. <laughs> why would you? Why did you just randomly say that? It just felt right. It felt right. I hope they don't play anything. I just want to go blinding mage. Keep it dissolve. Okay, this is good. This is a good sign. Oh, yes. Oh, yay. I'm just getting creepy, man. Oh, goody. <laughs> Can we play Fallout 4 for this? I want to find out if that girl is a robot or not. I feel like you know. And they're called synths, not robots. That's synthist. That is. That's robotist. Oh, man. Oh, man. This game is over. Send me a Michael. Run. Yeah, so Wizard says we're saddened by what happened to the magic community this weekend. Cyberbullying and harassment are unacceptable. When we support those who come forward with their experiences, no one should be made to feel unsafe or unwelcome. We're working to be part of the solution. Yeah, but how? But why? <laughs> it's not. It doesn't even make any sense. Um, we just going to be outlasting. 
I feel like if we just play Day of the Dragons and make three five fives, that's still good enough to win. Yeah, 15 power of flying is pretty good, I hear. <laughs> I mean, I'm no limited expert or anything, but... No Lemmy Spurt? I don't know what you just said. Lemmy Spurt? Lemmy Spurt? Yeah, you don't know about Lemmy Spurt? I don't know about Lemmy Spurt, no. I, uh, you, might, you might have me with that one. <laughs> well, alright. And the lemon meme has been called. Lemon meme? Is that what that's called? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, the old lemon meme. Unacceptable! What is our... What is six cards in hand? And, like... I don't understand what they are. They have seven, eight mana. Six cards. You gonna do something here? What are you gonna do? You gonna get rid of my elusive spell, Woogity Boo? Woogity Boo. Never. Woogity Boo. You heard it. I did. You heard. I don't know if I understand, though. You understand. Do I? You get it. All right. There's a two for one if this guy trades. Oh, they got a wild size. Butcher's Glee. I feel like we just dissolved that. Yeah. Or Cryptic Command it. Cryptic Command is probably just better Cryptic Command it here because we have the mana to do it. Yeah. Draw a card. Yeah. This guy is huge. 3-3? Three, three. Woo! It's about 9,000. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Oh, we draw another Counterspell. Seems good. So we lost a Cryptic Command, which actually replaced itself. So zero cards. And got rid of a drag. A dra oh, actually we lost a uh, an Emerge. So. But it's rebound. So one for three. Seems good. It's good. I guess we put this on here. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We'll say black. Three, four, five, six. You ready for this? Okay. We're just gonna have we're gonna have a good time here, ladies and gentlemen. If I cast it first, it would have triggered, and I could have dealt more damage. Well, not exactly. Correct. Yo, move. Yeah, I think one of the um, the main reasons I want to buy boxes of Unstable, let alone the fact that this set looks super fun, is for the uh, the lands that come in every pack. Here comes Bogard and Hellkite. Malfagor. Welp. That is unfortunate. What does that card do? When it comes into play, they discard their entire hand. Uh, you sacrifice creatures equal to the number of cards they discarded. Brutal! I mean, they have no they have no cards in hand. We have two counter spells. And we can also bounce this with a repeal in the future, which is pretty swick. Sick? Swick? Swick sick? Swicky. It's still pretty gross. It's not great for us, but... I mean, they... Like, they have to get through all of this to to even get a guy on the board. Two, three, four, five, six. So they can't play anything that costs six mana. Oh, exile this. There you go. It's actually pretty insane. Hmm. I don't know if we need to do that yet, though. I mean, probably. I want to get this game over with. I mean, that's not. I don't think that's going to get it over with any faster. Like, this guy's 
Sure. Now we might do it. Let's just play this guy. That's fine. I like how I always miss tap. I always pay more blue than white, so now I can't dissolve and mana leak if I have to do that for some reason. I'm like the worst magic tapper ever. I won't argue. I will block. And I don't blame you for attacking. However, if you want to use like a Draconic Roar here, then I'm kind of glad because now I can save these guys from getting hit. Draconic Roar. What'd you say? I was drinking water. Huh. Well. Do I care about that? You can just guard duty it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I do. I was drinking water. <laughs> Whatever, nerd. Oh, dang it! Boop. We didn't get any pneumatic walls, which is sad because we have the cryptic command swords to plowshares in the graveyard right now. So, what are you gonna do? You got it. Timberland guide. I'll oh, put a counter on himself. Getting dangerous. That's pretty good. All right. <clears throat> Once we hit this repeal, we're in real good shape. Look at our hand. Our hand is insane. Right. And we're at 24 life. Good lord. This deck is amazing. We just have to find out how to win. More like Justin Timberland guide. Ha ha ha. Because Justin Timberlake. It's a Justin Timberlake joke. I thought we learned the tapping lesson yesterday, too, but unfortunately, uh, that does not seem to be the case. I'll never learn. I will never learn. Play a Primeval Titan. Actually, don't play that, because then you'll have a Primeval Titan. And as much as I want to counter it right now, I don't want you to have it. So. Repeal. That was so deliberate, my tapping there. What do we got? A 10 cards here? We gotta be careful. Nah. <laughs> Welp. See you later. Alright. Uh, next turn, we're gonna Iona's Judgment this, and then we have enough mana to keep up a counter spell. Probably two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have 11, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll have Iona's Judgment and double dissolve. One more counters to put on a creature you control. Twice that many counters are put on instead. It's not super relevant. I mean, we have to use these dissolves on something, I think. Plus, if it's a repeal... It's still pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely keeping that on top. How do you deal with Malfograft to go to Day of the Dragons? We have a Blinding Mage underneath. And we have Elusive Spellfist that gets unblockable. So, plenty of ways, in other words.
He's learning. I'm just like, every time I tap, I'm like, just tap more white than blue. It's not a big deal. Just give me a reason. Also, every, um, every 2-2 two -two turns into a 5-5 five -five instead, so eventually we just make enough that we don't care about Malfagor. Felipe. Where? What are you talking about? Outside, man. Oh. Really? Really? And who else is blowing to your house at this time? Oh, I didn't hear. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a car. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, look. Topan <laughs> Frice Blade. Well, then I would be getting a counter. So how much land do we have? 6, 11, 12. We can go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, we can actually dissolve, make a guy, Iona's Judgment, make a guy. That seems good. Oh, if we're exiling this, we don't get to replay it. That's the unfortunate part. Yeah, but, like, we gotta get this game over at some point. I feel like we get it over with if we can repeal it and replay it. Yeah, but we only have nine cards in our library. But one of them is repeal, so it doesn't matter. Like, but what if that's, like, one of the second to last, and we can't actually win the game because we don't have enough cards in deck? I guess. It just seems super greedy. Not Does it? Two. Yeah. I think we should have done it like turns ago. Well, I was hoping for the repeal. This is also why we should save uh, in the future, like actually save Cryptic instead of spending it when we did. So you can bounce it. Another way to bounce Day of Dragons. This is a good board. I like it. Can you stop talking to me about your Day of Dragons, you nerd? Uh-oh, they're doing something. One. Draconic Roar, my Dijin Monk. You have no dragons. That's fine. Oh, you do have a dragon. What did you reveal? Do they have a dragon in play? That's a demon. What? Oh, it's a demon dragon. What the hell? What the hell is that? <laughs> it's a demon dragon. What the hell's a demon dragon? Super spoopy. God, I'm looking like an idiot. Everyone in the chat's like, actually, it's a demon dragon, dummy. <laughs> Why would I... Who? What? What even is that? That's not even a real thing. One, two, three, four. And you have a demon dragon. That I will get rid of, because that's annoying. I'm going to put that on the bottom. If one card in hand. Here we go. They were saving it. They're like, you're going to tap out eventually and we're going to play this. Whatever it is. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I thought it was something much scarier. I mean, it's kind of scary. I mean, we got Blinding Mage on top. Yeah, and, and, and or not on top, but in play. Yeah, but we need a way to win the game. And uh, his our whole deck is ways to the win the game. Goyf can uh, easily block the death flyers. Yeah, we tap Malfagor when we want to when we want to attack. We're fine. I don't I don't know what we're worried about. 
white cheeseburgers. I'm not worried about cheeseburgers. Why not? Because they don't concern me. They should. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> Only idiots aren't concerned with cheeseburgers. Cheeseburg. What up, Cheeseburg? It's your boy, Cheeseburg. What up, tap that big worm? Pet the doggo. This is where they attack because they're like, oh, I want to trade with your, with your monks or your free blade. So I will attack you. And I'm going to be like, no, dude. Don't attack me. We're friends. Till the end. Even if Mana Leak doesn't counter a thing, it's still nice to just be able to uh, make two tutus. Say that five times fast. I dare you. That's not a good draw. That's also not something that props can fix. Actually, I mean, we're going to get to a point where we can just alpha, but it's not... It's not gonna be yet. But not yet. But not today. My girlfriend raised her eyebrow and tapped that big worm. <laughs> well, you always gotta tap the big worm, if you know what I'm saying. Do I just mana leak this? It's never gonna be relevant, so yes. Look at all these triggers, my god. Such triggered, wow. Let's always yield to this, because it doesn't matter. We'll always yield to all... Actually, these are already auto-yielded too, I guess. Just get the mana leak out of the hand. They have no cards. Yes... Yes. Pay three. Oh, they did it. Dang. So if we tap Malfagor, we get to deal four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If we hit a spell, we deal thirteen, fourteen. It's an island. Seven, five is. 13 lands. So there are four lands in our deck, and we have a blinding mage on the very bottom. So I think we're just getting in there here, and then we can probably win next turn. Yeah, this should be a two turn clock. One, two, three, four, five. I think they can activate Kolagon's monument, though, which is pretty bad. So we lose one guy, they take still a lot. Still take eight. No, four or five, six, they take ten. Oh, there's an island on the bottom as well. That's pretty good. I I have uh I do you play watch over? You mean overwatch? Do Frank you over Playwatch? <laughs> oh my god. Over do you play Frank Watch? Watch do you play over Frank? What is even happening right now? I have no idea. Oh my god, I missed everything. You guys are amazing. But uh to answer that question, I don't play enough. My friend Mike Larson, who was actually who uh helped me get to BlizzCon, a he works on the Overwatch team, and uh just going to BlizzCon made me super hyped about playing Overwatch. Because I'm like, there's so much, like, passion in that game. And there's such a cool community. You know, as far as, like, the people who don't suck, you know. But, um... I certainly suck at that game. Not, not, not like, not like, not like skill-wise. But, like, you know, the, the, tox the toxic people. Outside of that, there's, like... The, the community is really awesome. And I, I've seen a lot of people... There's a lot of passionate people who play Overwatch. And it just seems like a great game. So, I don't know. I have a problem with games that require manual dexterity. Because 
That's why I like card games because I don't have to be like, f my fingers don't have to be faster than the next person. Wow, another search for tomorrow. This is working out. This is working out well for us. All right. Ooh, sick draw. It's not good. So we tap you. Block another one. You take four, five, six, seven, eight. So you actually have to block this guy, which is... That's not oh. what we wanted to do! Oh. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, no! That's eh, whatever. That was so bad, dude. Again, a situation that does not happen in real life. We're going to tap this guy, attack for everything. They would have to block here. And then they go to one. Uh, I probably am not going to try a Dragon Ball Z card game just because there's no point. Like, I can't... There's not going to be... A, I'm not going to have enough people to play it with. There's not going to be a group for me to play with. Um, and there's just no benefit. Like, I, I just... There's too many card games. All right, we get it. You lift, Malfagor. So you have to block here still. Yeah, it's the same thing. We can also just attack with this guy. I don't think that's good, though. So we're going to hold one back, because then if you block... You still have to block here. Otherwise, you take seven exactly. So we're just going to swing with these three. Puts you on the same clock. Overwatch is pretty fun. You go... Pew, 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 and they're like, oh no. Did they not block man. this? Did oh, they what? just draw a removal spell? Oh, alright. They just... Or they just concede? Take nine. Hmm. Sure. An interesting choice. Hmm. Oh. Billy, 100% accurate. Uh, you said, like, the way they describe the story and lore makes me giddy. Like, it's totally true. When I was at BlizzCon, like, even the games I didn't really play a lot, like, even World of Warcraft, which I haven't played in, like, 10 years, you still get so hyped about these games because everyone else is so hyped about them, and it's super cool. Barman ATL, thank you for the two-month sub. Really appreciate it, dude. Our deck seems great. I will keep this hand oh boy. and hope we draw lands. Famous last words. Uh -huh. Boy, oh boy. Why don't I have a two mana spell? All right, they didn't play anything either. That's good. I'm liking it. All right, liking it less. And that's how we lost. <laughs> you will never see me get more tilted than when I uh, don't hit a third land drop. I don't feel like dealing with this guy. Classic. Well, at least we can play it. I guess... Uh, Skywise Teaching saw zero play in Standard. Yeah, four mana is just too much. To do nothing. Looking good. Looking good. It would have been nice to have uh, another blue here so I can dissolve this guy, but... Nope. Yep, these are a lot of dudes you got here. Oh, thanks for showing up. Yeah, the Reinhardt cinematic actually gave me chills. I was tearing up in the uh, the the Overwatch arena at BlizzCon. I was just like. just super well done
I guess we're tapping old Roisin. What are the odds they don't have anything on turn uh, turn six? Oh, zero percent. And I'm pretty sure we're done here. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. You are correct. I mean, we missed three land drops, so. Significantly worse than not missing three land drops. Whatever, I'm not gonna not counter this just because we have, just because you might have something else. that any good no we need lands yep that's significantly better all right uh, eh. <laughs> actually this is not terrible for us that might be that might be recovery for us if we hit a land, I'll feel real comfortable playing a mass. Or Skywise Teachings, even. Yep, here we go. Duskdale. Nope. Wow. Oh, an X-Spell. You're just going to fireball our face. Never mind, I guess. Sorry, I don't know that. Yep. Got one red mana. And a Roshin Meander for 11. Cool. Hmm. That was not cool. He said cool, but it was not cool. Just run it back. Yeah, all right, whatever. Man, I'm just longing for this this three zero. I can't find it though. Can't find a way. That's not a song. Can't find a way. <laughs> oh. Sound like a song to me. Oh, yeah, I guess that's, uh. I guess that's true. I should, yeah, I should have been tapping the 4 4 on upkeep in case, uh, in case they had a fireball. And then they can only fireball me for six. I think they didn't even use their wall of roots, so. Yeah, they didn't use the ability from all of Roots, I don't think. I think it shows up in the chat, so I think it's we're think we're still been dead. They did it for eleven. Uh if we tapped Roshin Meander, they would No, we would be dead anyway. We tapped Roshin Meander, they just do it for seven instead, which is where we're at. I saw a photo of a monkey in a bikini and it made me remember that iconic Masters Rocks. Okay. I don't know what any of that means. How do those I'm not following. I don't know how one connects to the other really. One of these things is not like the other. I will play first. Oh. How nice. <sighs> sure. Because why not? Hey, look at that. We did it. Now I wish that Dissolve was on top. I tried to draft Mono Red Minecrank today. It went poorly. Until he just sang, I was worried I missed something and your son was having a timeout. He was silent for quite a while. Way to go, son. You gotta think of those songs, man. Do you? Yeah. Sure.
He can't block anyway. Ha 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 ha. Here comes old Roshin Meander. Do I play guitar? Not really. Why not? Because I haven't played in like, you know, you know, 10 years. Why not? Because I don't have a guitar anymore. Why not? <sighs> <laughs> if you just answer the question, we wouldn't have this problem. I answered it several times. Yeah, but not all of them. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana they have. Andrew, what if I hold your snoot? Don't hold his snoot. He hates that. I don't know if he hates it. I don't know if he hates it. Sure. Sold it for Kool-Aid milk. <laughs> Jesus. I don't wish that on anyone. I used to know an arpeggio or two. I bet you never did. How dare you. You never will again. You do one of these? I don't know what you do with your hand little there. little Van Halen. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're definitely losing this game. All of our card advantage machines are gone. And by gone, I mean we haven't drawn them and our opponent has five cards in hand. We mulled to five and they started eight, so they had three cards up on us already. Oh, uh, yeah, Ron Mars is great. Ron Mars created Thanos. Is he from Mars? No, he's not from Mars, Michael. <laughs> I think Ron Mars created Thanos. Unless I was from Star Wars. Let's find out. Maybe he didn't, actually. I could be wrong. Let's find out. Thanos. Jim Starlin. Okay, that was Jim Starlin. I was incorrect. But I knew it was Jim Starlin. You need so. a Kool-Aid aid milk uh, emote. What? A Kool-Aid milk emote. How even? <laughs> what, what, what's a Kool-Aid milk emote even look like? Hold on, let's do this. How many times can I put it since I'm the... There we go. Look at this dude. You got this tutu? Alright, that's cute. Huh. Some... I think you would have saved that one. What? Yeah, made him bigger, maybe? Especially that. Why didn't you... Yeah. It's weird, man. I don't understand. Huh. I guess because I can just make it bigger at any time. I don't know. Suno WTF. <laughs> this looks like this is weird because it doesn't look like Billy because it, you can't see his hair, and because it's so short. Uh, I have no idea what to do here. I don't think we're in good shape. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. It's not looking good. Some type of way. I mean, if we deal with two of these monster monsters, monstrosities. Michael Barbobliboo is in chat right now. <laughs> but that's me. Oh my god, dude. It's so good. It's so good, dude. The memes, the memes that this stream creates by themselves, by itself, by them, themselves, the memes... The stream creates. Did anyone check out the Dang by Jim itself documentary? Is good enough. Um, I didn't. I didn't see the Jim Carrey documentary. I saw the Jim Carrey movie with uh, about his portrayal of Andy Kaufman. It's called Jim and Andy on Netflix. It was very good. If that if that means anything to anyone, Bueller. Bueller. 
If you believe. That cat doesn't believe. They put a man in the moon. No blocks. Really? Fine. Some down now, kids. Force my hand. Simmer down now. Simmer down now. Oh, what's up, Jess? Um, my thoughts are I think that actually might be the movie that broke Jim Carrey. Like that was the start of the downfall. Yeah, Man on the Moon might have been the the movie that where he was just like he. I've never actually seen Man on the Moon. Man on the Moon is very good, like surprisingly good. I wonder if they also have that on Netflix. I have to assume they do. Does it be? I think it'd be weird to watch the documentary without not seeing the original. Agreed. Hunter's had a cat friend. They have been friends for five, six years now. If you believe, they're more like frenemies. You put Hunter on the moon. Hunter on the moon. If we can draw like cryptic command or uh, repeal next turn. Even though repeals in our graveyard. Jim's not broke. He's woke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jim Carrey was not in Cat in the Hat. That is. That was Mike Myers, wasn't yeah, it? The other one, yeah. Michael, the other one, the other. Yeah, what does that mean? One. The other one. You know what it means. Yeah, it was very impressive watching him play Andy Kaufman in the. Oh, you're just gonna fireball us again. Ready? Yeah, you tapped five exactly. You're going to shoot it at me. You're dealing with all the, the fireball rigmarole. You got it. Oh, we our card Cryptic Command one time? Okay, we were just dead. Yeah, that we had... Yes Man movie was pretty decent. Yes Man? That was probably like one of his worst movies. You didn't like that? No. I thought it was pretty funny. Truman Show is my absolute favorite Jim Carrey movie. That's a good movie. It's very good. I watched that in history class. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't remember why. It might have just been like a goof. I don't think it's I, a goof. I like a really, that's. I had a really interesting history teacher. I feel like I school. feel like Truman Show was one of the movies that cemented Jim Carrey as an actual dramatic actor instead of just a comedian. But, um, yeah, Eternal Sunshine was also great. That was also a great movie. Never but seen that one. You look at, if you look at Jim and Andy, um. It basically explains how Jim Carrey broke himself down to become Andy Kaufman for that role. And he was Andy Kaufman the entire time during filming, like on set and off set. That was one of those guys? Yeah, he was like really into it. And he like just, he literally became Andy Kaufman like for a, the role. Like a Daniel Day-Lewis kind of thing? But like way more hardcore. And I think he never found that original Jim Carrey that he originally was before the movie, afterward, which is really interesting. The mask, a classic. Yeah, we'll we'll deal with this. We'll hope there's a land somewhere. I've seen the mask in a long time. I wonder if that movie holds up. Smoke it. <laughs> Maybe for the memes, it holds up. I mean, it just lets me when we whenever we go to the barbecue restaurant and then there's a smoking barbecue sauce, I get to say smoking a lot. No, oh, good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, there's only like one real barbecue restaurant around here. Not Sonny's, and it's like a and it's like a chain too. Yeah, but I always have a good time. I have a good time. Oh, great! Here we go. Here we go. What? You know what this card does? Nope. It's it's on the screen. Oh, we're getting milled. As usual, like you do. Why is this? It didn't actually take off this. It didn't. De it didn't remove this. Why didn't it remove this? Good question. Weird. Well, that's a third land, which is nice. Oh, I like Valkyrie here because then we can actually start blocking this. Yeah, I'm down. Oh no, they got they got Mana League. No. Rip, 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 rip. <sighs> I vomit. Mm. 
Yeah, tearing me apart, Lisa. Have you seen the room? Yeah. I have not seen the room, dude. It's a uh, it's a good time. I feel like we should watch the room, and then we should go watch uh, the Disaster Artist. That sounds like a plan. That seems like, yeah, like before it comes out. No, let's let's watch it as it comes out. Ooh, interesting. No. What? Do you even believe they put a man on the moon? Man on the moon. Andy. I don't know why you're saying it like that. Checks out. I don't think it does. I don't think it, it does. Checks check, out. I don't think it, it does. Checks out. Why are you like this? I'm getting real tired of this stupid floater with Miller. Miller. Miller's crossing over here. Still get to draw unless you're gonna dissolve it. I'll dissolve your brain. Another blue. Thank you. Another blue. Nope. All right. I still think we win this race. The moon landing is fake because the moon doesn't exist. It can't. Can't orbit a flat Earth. Um, that implies the moon is also not flat, which is also just wrong. Ooh, interesting. Get wrecked. The flat mooners. A, a new a new breed is woke. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened right here on this very stream. Thoughts scour me. Okay. Thoughts scour me timbers. That was not exciting to me. I feel like we just have to outrace this idiot. And I think we're doing it right now. How do you feel about Backyard Rocket Ship Man? I don't know what that is, so this is a hard question to answer. I feel like this is a troll. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. We're going to draw a cryptic command now because it isn't in our graveyard yet. This is where they get to dissolve it. Or mana leak again. Whatever. But you're going to counter it. One way or another. Oh, they didn't. I'm intrigued. Oh, that's Flash, right? What? No. That two drop doesn't have flash? No, I ain't rattle chains. Oh, that's what I thought it was. What? <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. That's random. This card's terrible. You're terrible. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you exist? Don't even look at me. I can't. Flat Earther made a rocket ship in his backyard that he planned. Oh, I did see that. Into space to prove there's no curvature to the Earth. Let your prowess resolve. This this never going to happen. I got two counter spells with your name on so it. So I imagine that that comes out two ways. He shoots himself into the air and then realizes, oh wait, I've been wrong. The Earth isn't flat. Two, he explodes and dies. It's pretty much the only outcomes, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, Miller, I can see the links. Just because they might get deleted, but I, I can see them. So, I'm definitely going to uh, open this. Oh, he, he canceled it? Oh. What? Why did he cancel it? I'm not going to be able to read this while we're streaming. Can, can you give me the rundown as to why he canceled it? The best keyword for Android, I use Google keyboard. Google G keyboard, whatever it is. If that helps. If you believe they put Mike B on the moon, Mike B on the moon. They put you on the moon, bro. Good chat. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you? What are you, my old grandpa? What? Huh? They're at six? This Tobin Freeblade has dealt 14 damage. There's a third option. He flies in the rocket and confirms that the Earth is in fact flat. I guess that's true. I, uh, I can't disagree with you there. We only have 13 cards left. This Shriekgeist is really doing some damage here. Watch, they're going to hit Cryptic Command. 
It's going to be cryptic command and planes. Ready? It was neither of those things. I was 0%. What a liar. You're a liar. How dare you? How dare you? I didn't think about that. Oh. <laughs> Got him. I'll end your petty life. Oh my god, you're going to try to kill this? God, it's so sad that you're going to do that. You don't even have a dragon? Amateur hour. And I get to make a bird? Making bird. I got to put I get to put a bird on it? Yes, please. As a guy that works on the sea, I can tell you the earth isn't flat. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot, does it? That's what the globalist shills want you to think. <laughs> Yeah, you sound like a globalist chill cuck is what you sound like. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. What are you going to repeal my Dijin? Okay. Okay. Wow, you're just killing all my good things, aren't you? All me good boys. All me good boys. <laughs> oh, stop killing me good boys. Oh, that ain't it. There we go. I didn't actually get to see what was in the JFK files, which is sad to me. What's to stop you? I haven't looked. That's what's that's what's stopping me. You 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 globalist shill. All right, we got five cards left in our deck. I want to put you to two here. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Wow. God, what an emotional roller coaster that was, guys. I apologize. I'm gonna tap you because I can probably block the the Dijin monk or the uh, the shriek guys with with the Dijin monk. You guys like how I say Dijin? You like that? Dijini. Dijini. Come at me, bro. Bro, I asked you to come at me. We have five cards. They have twenty-two. Look how much damage this one stupid idiot has done. That's unbelievable to me. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. How dare you. How dare you, Michael Bubbly Boo. How dare you. Don't talk to me like that. One thing we can do is make, we can play a land, play Day of the Dragons, trigger on the stack, make a guy. Um... And then make three guys. Three five fives. Do we need to, though? Well, we don't not need to, if that's what you're thinking. Whatever that means. No idea. You know. Still no. You know. Definitely not. One day... Even if they counter it, we get a guy. So, whatever. You can be knocking at my door. Dragons. At what age did you smoke your first marijuana cigarette? Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. We could have judgmented, but they I, I had assumed they have a counter spell, which is why we're not doing that. Like, I'm not just going to judgment, have them get my guy, and then swing for lethal. Because that would be sad. I mean, alternatively, the same thing could have happened where we just try to kill this guy. They counter it. We tap it. We attack for two. But. I 
whatever. What they put on top? Oh, they left it on top. That's a good one. Here we go. Kill my monk. Put me down to two cards. I'm dead. How did this one Shriek guy steal so much damage, dude? That's life. Wow. Okay. I guess they did Thought Scour us one time, so that's that's also a good amount of cards. And we did play a Mass. And Survival Cash. So we actually drew like 3, 4, 5... Six, seven with the Thought Scour. Seven cards were not Shriek Geisted. Into the graveyard. Oh no, our Crypty, our Crypty. Com oh, well, that's interesting. Sure. You're tapped out. So you're dead. That's cool. Good game. That is cool. See you later. Bye. Aliens, yay or nay? Yay. Definitely yay. I think we boarded more cards here. <laughs> uh, sure. That guy might be worth a phantasm. It's when an opponent has 10 or more cards. Never mind then. <laughs> I've changed my tune. Um, bring in you, bring in you, bring in you, bring in you. Might as well bring in the other one. It's too much, though. Why? I don't know, Michael. Dad, forty lands. You can't win. I like I like boarding up to forty eight cards. That's a good, that's a good strat. Oh, look at this perfect hand too. Absolutely perfect. Every time some stuff like this happens, I'm like, should I just be playing forty eight cards naturally? Oh, hey man, why aren't you singing more songs? Because you gotta have the right time. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Also, this guy's great against Shriek Geist to prevent the damage, so... No milling for you. You know, you got some attitude. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Do I? Yeah. Go on. Tell me more about my attitude. <laughs> Tell me more about my attitude. Oh, I'm real curious about it. Would you say it's a new attitude? Maybe. Okay. Oh, a three four. Heavens no. <laughs> What? Oh, why don't we attack? I don't know, because we're bad at this game. Watch, if they if they beat us at one, it's all over. Oh, uh, I also believe in the Lost City of Atlantis. I believe in all kinds of weird stuff. It's fun to believe in weird stuff. But I don't, like, go crazy about it. I'm not, like, hyper conspiracy theorist about it the i just guy that'll argue with people in a bar about it i'll fight you <laughs> he's reasonable they reasonable be reasonable well now we're getting in there oh you get your hogwarts letter but the government wouldn't let you get your student loans dang that's messed up man did you apply for any hogwarts scholarships uh, magic I do not believe in. I mean, Magic the Gathering I believe in, but Magic 
the actual uh, paganistic practice I do not believe in. Right? You get bigger, right? Whenever it blocks, it gets plus O, plus 2. Sure. Block with a three five two five. I got a new attitude. Do I just play Angel of Mercy here? No, because they'll probably just counter it. I think we can keep some things up. You don't want to do anything? Neither do I. <laughs> Stop dumping on my religion. Oh, my bad. You pagan. Really? This is what you're going to play? Do I care about this? Hard to say. No. No, I don't. Remember yesterday when we were talking about ramen with American cheese? Oh, the good old days. I like to call them rose-tinted spectacles. <laughs> You're not wrong. I guess I take four here. That was unimpressive. You're unimpressive. Sarah, as usual, I can't actually tell if you're being serious or not, because it's very rare. You'll never know. Oh, that was a good... That, that guy went back to your hand? Deal. Are you going to replay him? Cool. Aliens might use magic, or they just have really advanced technology, which basically appears to be magic, because that's how it works. You appear to be magic. Oh, oh, it's magic. You know. Those are two different songs. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I won't argue that. Well, you can't. They are. They're two, it's factually two different songs. I can songs. argue whatever I want. How <laughs> dare you? Well, all right. You got me. Go ahead. Counter this one. J. Mechies. Mex. J. Mex. Wow. The rudest of dudists. I think it just might be this. This is worse than this. I'm blocking and this guy's too good. Yeah, all right. You know. At what age did I become self-aware? Um, it's hard to say because at that, that was like my first moment, you know? So you can't really say when it happened because that's Shwiggity all. Swiggity five. Swore teen teen. So many people watching the original Predator over Thanksgiving break. Why do you know that? <laughs> Sometimes I like to talk about all the people watching Predator over Thanksgiving. You know, like you do. Look at you not bluff and dissolve. I don't have that card. Yeah, but what if you did? Then I'd probably tap in correctly anyway, so what does it matter? That's fair. Dang it. You're playing all these creatures that are super good. And they fly right under the radar. Kellen, what's going on, buddy? Oh, a door. Oh, a doorkeeper. More like a shit keeper, am I right? You're gonna counter that? Yeah, I don't want them to. I don't want to get milled again, man. You're fine. That guy mills really slowly. He does real mill really slowly. Old Millie Billy. That's what they used to call me in high Same school. my band, Millie Billy and the Barbobbly Booze. <laughs> Everybody knows that, man. There's a lot of guard duties. Do you understand? Do you understand about the guard duties? No. Hunter, what are you doing with your life? What isn't he doing with his life? That's the question you want to ask yourself. It's because when people's uncles usually come to visit, they're subconsciously reminded of predators. Wow. 
That got real. This got real dark. Defender camp block does seem pretty good. We'll do that next time we get those prowess bonuses. I worked hard all year and all I got was a stupid prowess bonus. That's rough beats. Your, your face is rough beats. They used to call you old rough beat face. Why well, you have to remind me of that? I don't have object permanence. Oh, that's actually pretty rough. How's that working out for you? How do you feel about this chat on the screen? Looks fine. It's good, right? How do you guys feel about the chat on the screen? I feel like for those of you who are watching it on YouTube, it's uh, a lot better. It makes a lot more sense when there's sweet inside jokes to be had. And we're just going to tap the big guy down. And also... Uh, my you know, grandpa was a predator, know. but the kind that gets you him on a list and you can't go to your schools. Oh, you're gonna wow, you're gonna repeal that dude and attack for three, four? Okay. You got it. Because it's a you, babe. Bouncing my creatures and attacking now. Babe, with me. That is true. Babe, I love you. You know this jam? No. You don't know that song? No. Are you serious right now? No. I can't. I don't even know what's real anymore. <laughs> got him. God, you did got him. Not even attacking anymore. Wow, I just noticed the chat was on the screen. You guys are amazing. Uh, my favorite season of The Simpsons is anyone that has you only move twice in it because that's the best episode. Unfamiliar. It's the one with Hank Scorpio. Does that help? Still unfamiliar. Okay, well, then you're not a Simpsons fan because that's the best Simpsons episode there is. According to you. According to uh, everyone who's ever... a lot of kids like the Halloween ones. Yeah, those kids are stupid, Michael. Wow. Are you going to counter this? No, you can't because i got to dissolve. Blah. You have one card in hand? This game is over. Probably just going to ditch this land, actually. Probably. Yeah, it's fine. And Homer, if you want to kill someone on the way up, it'd help me out a lot. Alan, the chat is all the way on the left side. It's right above my head. Look at the chat, guys. It's right here. Yeah, this is never resolving in a million years. If you live to be 900 years old, this is not going to resolve. Wow. Wow. Oh, and that's the end. All right, cool. All right. Two whole packs. Got him. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not done so, feel free to like or subscribe, and I'll see you next time.